So hello, uh, my first question is, uh, could you please introduce yourself and uh, the, the project you're presenting here at the Zero Project Conference? Um, hi, my name is Philippa Bragman and um, I'm the director of a UK-based national organisation led by disabled people called Change. We work for the human rights of people with learning disabilities and we employ people with learning disabilities alongside people who don't have learning disabilities to lead on all of our work. And what I'm going to be talking about here is our model of employing people with learning disabilities, which we call the co-working model of employment for people with learning disabilities. What, are, what, what is this um, uh, model about and uh, what are the three reasons to, for it to be successful? I suppose we believe that people with learning disabilities should be employed within their own communities and within their own services to be leaders and role models for other people with learning disabilities. And the co-working model of, of employment is where a person with learning disabilities and a person who doesn't have learning disabilities are both employed on the same salary, they work the same days on the same projects, and um, it works to each of the people's strengths. So it's using the skills and expertise and knowledge of people with learning disabilities um, uh, do you see um, any obstacles for, for this model to be implemented in other countries as well, or something special? Um, no, I mean, some of the things are... F we, we, our workplace is inclusive, and we do a lot of work with other organisations, supporting them to work inclusively and provide inclusive services to people with learning disabilities. We have a team of people with learning disabilities who work with a team of illustrators and designers and they produce easy read accessible information. And um, we think that this is really important. I think some of the barriers are when um, information isn't accessible to people with learning disabilities. And a lot of times people think that people with learning disabilities can't do things. So when people with learning disabilities are employed at change, generally they haven't had experience of employing employment as in running projects before they come to change. They generally come from day centres or having jobs where they've stacked shelves. Or... So I think that once you believe that people with learning disabilities can and should and do have the ability to lead projects, then I think this is a really good way of working. We also, as well as the co-workers who work together, we employ a resource worker. And as and when the person with learning disabilities needs support, they take responsibility and then they speak to the resource worker and they get support from the resource worker. So we think it would be brilliant if this way of working was rolled out globally ac across different countries because we think it's a really good model that works. Okay. And uh, the last question is, um, what, what are your impressions of the Zero Project Conference so far and what would be your wish for the future? It's very high powered. <laughs> Um, my wish for the future would be that there was representation from people with learning disabilities who are employed. So um, I would wish that it wasn't me giving the presentation, I would wish that it was one of the employed staff with learning disabilities at Change that was giving the presentation, and that there was more of a presence of people with learning disabilities at this conference, and that the findings of the conference, and that a lot of the work that's gone on, which is really brilliant, is made accessible to people who struggle with reading and people with learning disabilities through easy read information. Thank you very much.